Testing, testing. Okay. All right. What's up, YouTube fam? What's going on? It is 10:19, and it's June 20th. Um, it's been a while since we filmed kitchen version, but this is the kitchen, and this is the video. And I personally tried to do a video at the beach. I know I promised that there'd be a video where you can hear ocean waves. So I can post that video. It's a very short nine second video. However, you would not be able to hear anything I was saying um, at the beach because the wind. So I just got back. It was quite the trek. I uh, opened my notebook and on the beach and um, two of the notes that I spent like an hour um, working on, I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world, but I spent quite a bit of time and I lost all those notes. It was kind of, it was, it's, I guess it's funny <laughs> if it wasn't me, uh, but we'll turn it into two videos. So the notes that I do have, I'll share now. The, these are the Bible verses. And then the ones that I don't have, I guess I can do for a video tomorrow morning. But yeah. Literally, literally, um, that was kind of a lot. I was, um, took like the entire day to go to the beach and I know that's how I knew that's how it was gonna be um, so it was beautiful it was very beautiful um, uh, it's just never it literally always takes like 30% longer than it says on Google Maps so it was beautiful, totally worth it, totally worth it. Um, I guess I was a little unexpectedly um, emotional. And every time I go to Brooklyn, it feels like all I do is get like severely lost. Uh, to be honest with you, um, or uh, it's like, it's, it just, it feels, I just don't know Brooklyn the way I know other areas, um, so it kind of stresses me out, but I've been wanting to go for a long time, I've been putting it off, and so I'm glad, I'm glad and I'm glad that I went. I hope you had a wonderful, you know, rest of your evening. Um, you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into the vid. Um, this is what I actually have been wanting to share from most, um, like this is the one I've been wanting to share the most, um, like I've been the most excited for it because, well, I don't know, it just feels like I saved the best for last. So it's still... Thursday it is still June 20th so I'm really glad that you're here and taking it with me for this third and final video for the day um without further ado the title of this video is your best is not good enough Sounds a little, um, I don't know, maybe static or 
static, like not flexible, but it, it's, it's referring to progress. Um, so that's why I'm so excited about this particular word is because um, progress is like kind of always a steady throughout life and I feel like it's kind of always a, a, con a constant um, that we can be distinctly in control of. So I like that in progress and there's like a lot of Bible verses that I found about progress and we have I like I like this one this one I actually do have memorized I, yeah Luke 137 um with God uh, nothing is impossible for God with God for all things are possible with God for nothing is impossible with God uh, Luke 137 so I like that as the one to start off with because it's like um, like if that's where we're starting out then it's shoot for the stars land for the moon right or shoot for the moon land amongst the stars and so I like that. We start off with that and and um and seek first the kingdom of God. Um I think it's beautiful. What else we got? Oh yeah! This one's the Ephesians, and I was I was excited about this one a lot because it's talking about waves. Um, yes, I'm excited. Okay, I was just at the beach. If I could have filmed and y'all would have been able to hear over the wind, I definitely would have done it there so you could see like, the beautiful background. Um, it was gorgeous. I did take that one small video. <laughs> So this is Ephesians 4, 14, 15. So that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. So that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves. Yes, okay, so, um, oh my gosh, that's so interesting. Um, it's because, so like, there's a lot of, um, events, circumstances, people, places, things in our lives that kind of have the wool over our eyes because it's people in our lives that are sh wolf in sheep clothing. So, um, as we get older, the progress we can make is um, getting better every single day. I have a short story to tell you. Um, I'm not necessarily proud of this story, but it has like a really good moral value to it that I, I hope to apply to my life. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, what was this? 2018. And I uh, happened to be in Elizabethtown, New Jersey. Um, and I was, I was like, oh, shit out of luck. I, I had, um, it was like, it, it just, I was in the, a weird place of like a bad time and happened to gamble away like a thousand dollar, like all my cash on me that night. And um, I had got let my ego get the best of me, and phone died. Have no no like transportation, uh, you know, to get at least to the metro to get back into the city. And then <clears throat> yeah, like got real stuck out there, um, and. Before, before I 
hit the road, I did have a discussion with one of the like roommates there who was like a female and her name was like uh started with a B. Like started like it was like Betty or something like that. And she actually gave me her address and we wrote letters to each other for a while, not a while, but like a little bit after that. Um and she told me always be smarter today than you were yesterday. Um, and so, yeah, that was a mistake I made when I was like, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I guess one could say, um, impulsive to make high stake decisions, uh, fiscal decisions, financial decisions, um, and it impacted me greatly, um, because it put me in danger, like, um, it, it just, it wasn't good, it was, it wasn't good, I, I, I had, I had lost my sense of self-control and so the quote that we're sticking with from this whole crazy fiasco younger 20s by the way like <laughs> long time ago <laughs> um is the quote from lovely roommate betty always smarter today than yesterday uh, progress and that's that's what this bit is about too <laughs> um, we, we have another verse here first Timothy 415 meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that they that they that thy profiting may appear Practice these things, immerse yourself these things, immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. Cool beans. Meditate upon these things, give thyself holy and holy to them, that they profiting may appear. Pack more of that tomorrow, too. It makes me think if it's similar to like when it says meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them. Um, about the uh, one verse that says to think about whatever is commendable, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy. Um, yeah, and then it says, practice these things, immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. I wonder if, that, if, if that's what it's referring to, partially. But we also have Luke 8.15, but the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart, who hear the word, retain it, and by preserving produces a crop. Ooh, I like that a lot. I was super into the verses that I happened to find regarding progress. I thought it was a very um, ample research subject. Um, and there seems to be a lot of seems to be a lot about like progress in the Bible. It's interesting. Um, and actually, the more I think about that, the, the more that makes sense, right? Because it's like we're encouraged to live a repentant lifestyle. So we aim to be blameless, but we're never going to be perfect, no matter how hard we try. So progress is what matters is like every day 
smarter today than you were yesterday, um, like the story that I shared with you. <laughs> uh, we also have Isaiah 54, 2 through 3. Enlarge the, oh, I like this one. Enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back, do not hold back, and light, um, in, mm, entangle your cords, strengthen your stakes. I forgot how peaceful Bible study videos are at night, like, because everything's done for the day, and, and it's just so peaceful. I think if there's a verse that says to re review um, the word every morning and every night, yeah. I can see why it's, it's super very very peaceful so thanks for being here you guys um this is the last verse for this evening isaiah 54 2 3 3 enlarge the heart excuse me enlarge the place of your tent stretch your tent curtains wide do not hold back and tangle your cords strengthen your stick I feel like that's kind of saying go all in, like every day. So yeah, the key takeaways that, um, yeah, I'd like to drill home for this video. Um, it's like progress and then um, kind of like, um, uh, Having constant awareness that you're measuring your success in a way that like uh, matches your uh, like how you're able to comprehend you're able to measure your success like say you keep a log of progress and whatever it is that you want to improve on um, or say their habits um, but um, go all in is uh, the key takeaway for this video too, for sure. Um, I, I'm really, I'm really stuck on strengthen your stakes, you guys, because I literally happened to say stakes earlier um, when I was referencing a point, and so I'm just like, wow, that's so cool, and it feels like I that keeps happening in my. Um, day and it's really cool where something in my like current reality like mimics something right like in front of me happening to s something else to somebody else or like on the TV screen um, or like right on the radio um, like say for example like I'm a light about I'm like I'm about to light like uh, an incense and then like on the radio it says like flame or fire like right as I'm um doing that and then like there's other times and examples where it, like it's like I've heard and seen videos that it means like synchronicity it is like a uh, you know kind of definitely showing you that the universe is mimicking you so that means like you're in alignment um and it's really cool I it, it's like it keeps happening and it's like I also get like weird bouts of sneezes and like other spiritual things and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I have more content coming about like bodily symptoms about and like theories that I've like learned from other research and stuff about how it signals ie like a spiritual awakening so stay tuned for content about that um, but yeah, thanks for chilling tonight, you guys. Um, progress is consistent. Um, consistently progressing 
uh, smarter today than you were yesterday, recognizing um, personal record, beating your personal record is progress, um, and your best is not good enough is the title of the video. Um, <laughs> but it's meant to be encouraging, obviously. Um, cause we're talking about going all in and focusing on progress. Cause then when you're focusing on progress and, um, you have the winning combination of that and discipline, you're absolutely guaranteed to, um, exceed your expectations. So it's, it's a jump start when we say your best is not good enough. It's a jump start into, um, your most motivated self. You guys, I love you so much. I hope y'all is kicking and slaying. Um, I trust you is. And uh, resting up, hydrating up, staying prayed up. And uh, thanks for kicking it. I really appreciate y'all being here for these messages. It means a lot. Um, welcome new subs. Um, I don't believe there's anything left to say. Um, so welcome to the Kimberly Ponce channel. If that hasn't been said yet, I don't believe it has. So yeah, um, welcome to the new subs. I am Kimberly Ponce and this is the Kimberly Ponce channel. And I'll see you guys at the top. <laughs> Peace.